Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I will demo how to secure Mule API with JWT validation policy. I will use AWS Cognito as identity access management system and it will act as JWT token provider. So let's start. In AWS console, I will go to the Cognito service. First, I will create the user pool. Provider type, I will keep default Cognito user pool. I will click username for Cognito user pool sign in option. I will click next. Here, I will keep uh, password policy to Cognito default. MFA enforcement policy, I will say no MFA. And I will click next. In this page, I will keep all the settings to the default. I will click next. For email, I will click send email with Cognito. And I will click next. Here I will enter the user poll name. OMS user pool for app type I will select confident client app client name I will give OMS app Client secret, generate client secret. I will click next. Here we can review the all the options settings. I will click create user pool. OMS minus UP user pool has been created. Now I will go to the app integration and here I will create a domain, Cognito domain. I will give the name OMS5 is available. I will click create Cognito domain. So our domain has been created. I will copy this domain and paste in the notepad. Now I will create a source server OMS RS and I will copy the same value for identifier. Here I will add two custom scope create order create order and get order get orders i will click create resource server so now we have domain we have resource server And we have app client. I will click app client, OMS app. Here I will select the grant type. So I will select client credential. We will use client credential grant type to get the token. And for custom scope, I will select get orders and create order custom scope that we created. I will not add any callback URL. 
So I will save the changes. Here I will copy the client ID. We need this for getting the token. And I need the client secret. So we have client ID and client secret. Now I will go to the AnyPoint platform. I will go to the exchange. So here is the order API, secured order API, which have the get method. It returns all the orders. Now I will go to the API manager. So this API registered in API manager. It's active. And right now this API is not secured because there is no policy configured. So if I will go to the postman, I can invoke this API. without any token so we're getting result and getting a list of orders now i will add a policy jwt policy to this api so click add policy i will select jwt validation click next So I need to provide this value for that I will go to the Google verify token cognito So I will copy this JWKS URI. I will copy this in a notepad. Here I need to replace reason and user pool ID. So I will go to the Cognito. This is user pool ID for the user pool that we created. So I'll copy this. And uh, for region, this is the region EU North 1. So we are using this region. So I will build the URL I will replace this user pool ID and region we saw it's a EU North 1 so I'll copy EU North 1 and replace here so this is our uh, JKS URI. So I will copy this. Paste here. So this is the detail. When token will be verified, it will use this information. So here algorithm is RS256 skid value and everything so i will set these values in the any point manager api manager 
so i will keep http br authentication header rsa256 for jks url i will copy the url that we build it because we are using url so i will copy it here i will keep rest of the value default i will skip the client id validation that's all and this will be applied to all apis so main thing is jks uri when token comes we send the token with the api request it will validate it using this uri i will click apply so policy has been created now our api is secure now if i will go to the postman and i will invoke this api again we should get error so we are not getting error because it takes few second to apply the policy so we can keep trying we got the error because policy has been applied so now we need a jwt token and we need to pass this token in the request then only we can get the response so for that to build the token uri we have to build the token uri for that we need to use domain name and we have to append with the slash or to slash token so this would be the token uri i will copy this url and now i will get the token in the postman so i will come here copy the url here More method is post authorization i have to send the basic authorization and for username and password we have to copy client id and client secret that we copied here when we created the application so i will use this client id and i will use this secret now for header i have added content type as application slash x www form you are encoded so this is the extra header that we have to send for body we need to send the scope and grant type as client credential so scope be created get orders and uh, create order so let me check there in cognito so these are the scope we will copy this scope we will use oms minus rs slash get orders so i'm sending this scope grant type is client credential header content type we have to put the value application x www form url encoded and for authorization we have we are using basic auth and sending username and password click send we got the token now we have to use this jwt token so i'm copying this token and here i have to send this token as a bearer token so i'll select uh, authorization as a bearer token click send 
we got the result if i will change something it won't work if i use no auth i will get 0 t token required error and when i will select bearer token and i will put the right token it will work again so let me recap first uh, in cognito i created a user group then i went to api integration created domain and uh, application OMS application also got created and then we created a resource group and we created a two custom scope get orders and create order and here an application client I change the grant type to client credential and uh, we use the custom scope I use the post method and I invoke the token URL and I got the access token I use this access token as a bearer token and I send uh, this bearer token as authorization header and uh, we got the result So this is how we can secure our Mule API using zero tree validation policy and uh, AWS Cognito as a token provider. I hope you understood how to secure Mule API using AWS Cognito and zero tree validation policy. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.